Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to discuss Likud 1152. And this is a very common coding question asked in uh, Amazon interviews. So for this problem, we're going to be given three arrays, username, website, and timestamp. And, uh, and uh, for the ice item in the arrays, you, it means the username i, visit the website i at the timestamp i. And a pattern is a list of three websites. So it's always a three websites. So the score of a pattern is a number of users visit all the three web websites in the pattern in the same order as they appeared in the pattern. So that's which means like we have a pattern as a home, away, and a love. And then we have two users visit the three uh, websites in the same order. Like they visit home first, then away, then love. Then this pattern would have a score of two. And we need to return the pattern with the largest score. And if we, if we have more than one pattern with the same largest score, we just find the one with the uh, lexico lexicographically uh, smallest one. Okay, so for this problem, we'll be given three arrays, right? So we just need to find uh, for every user, like all the websites they visit in the timestamp order, like sorted by timestamp. And then we can find all the patterns the user can have, and then we can just get the scores, uh, get the pattern, like get the scores for each pattern, and then we can find the pattern with the largest score. So basically, this is a we can translate this problem into like into a data structure with like key as a username and array as a list of websites the user the user visited in the ordered by the timestamp, and then we just exhaust all the patterns for each user and then get the patterns for the score. So yeah, so let's code it out. So the first step we need to do is like, we need to find the sites visited by each user. Okay, so, so what we can do is like, we can maybe store it in the, in the, in the, uh, in the variable called records. And every item in the record would have each item in the array would be um, username, maybe timestamp, sort i timestamp, timestamp, username, and the website. So what we can do is uh, for i in range of the answer username. And so I'm sorry. sorry. The name I and the website I. So now we get to the list of the records, right? And then we can just sort the records by timestamp. So and we can build, build the username, like a dictionary with the username as a key and the list of websites as a value. So we can have like, uh, we can call it a user to sites. I use a default tick. Okay. The value would be a list. All right. Um, yes, we will need it and then use the name site. So, user two sites would be a name and all right. So now it's user two site is what we have. So which is the username 
as a key and the, the size as a value. So now we need to uh, exhaust all the patterns for each user so that we can get the, um, we can count like for each pattern, we can have the counter. So, okay, so we need, to, we need the helper function here. Jam uh, patterns, so we input will be the sites. So what this function does is like, mm, mm, it would be um, get all the patterns from a list of sites. Okay, so for user and the sites in user to sites, the items we can like all the patterns we can get patterns it will be uh, m patterns from the sites actually we don't need the user here this is all the patterns we can generate exhaust all the patterns we can generate from the sites and uh, then for Pattern in patterns, we can have um, a pattern counter. So let me just uh, pattern counter. Pattern counter. Incremented by one. So this part is basically what we are doing here is um, at the counter for each pattern. Now we need to find the pattern, the maximum pattern. I need to find the max pattern. So um, maybe let's say max counter. We can just uh, initialize it to the minimum value. All right, and the max pattern. This is a pattern we need to return. Non for now. All right. So we need to have four pattern. And the uh, pattern counter in uh, the items. In items. So if Counter is larger than the max counter, then max counter would equal to counter, and the max pattern would equal to pattern. Else, they are the same. Then pattern would equal to max pattern would equal to the minimum of the of the two of the max pattern. And we can just simply return the max pattern. Now we need to implement a function to generate all the patterns from the sites. So basically, uh, let's have uh, as a set. We need to make it a set because um, in the sites, like the, the user may visit uh, the same uh, website, like at a later time, maybe like the user visits like home, away, love, and then visit home again. So like that's why we need to have a set because um, the user may have the same pattern like twice. 
the same user may have the same pattern twice, like the user can visit home away love and then home away love again. That's why it's a set and this is what we're gonna return. So um, it would be, uh, and would be the length of the size. We just need to uh, look through like the, have a, like three, uh, like a three level of loops to get the three sites. So for i in range of uh, zero to and minus two, uh, for j in range of i plus one, so j will be the second side we need to pick, and minus one. And uh, for k in range of j plus one, so this is third third side we need to pick to n. All right. Also, we just add uh, sites i j k. All right. So this is the uh, this is the solution. Let's try to run and see how it goes. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So basically, like uh, this question is not that difficult. So basically, we just need to uh, find the user to sites uh, dictionary, and then we just for all, for all the sites the user visits, we just get all the patterns the user have. And then we just like uh, generate the counter, pattern counter from that. And then we, from the pattern counter, we just get to the maximum counter, uh, maximum pattern. All right, so this is the uh, end of the video and I'll see you guys in the uh, next one.